because none of us have space for single function appliances, a milk frother can froth milk, but what else can it do? I wanted to test whisking eggs and blending powdered milk into water, and the egg comes first. Using both the whisk attachment and the frother, either one works. I think the frother is better for this particular glass shape because I can get in the corners, but the whisk works too. Some recipes call for eggs to be whisked until they are frothy, and this is such an easy way to do that. And obviously this is ideal for when you're doing just one egg and need a smaller tool. Now for the powdered milk. This is also to simulate blending up protein powder or collagen or greens powders or cocoa powder. I think the frother is the best job for this task and it does a beautiful job. A fork could never get an homogenous texture like this. Even though this is a paid partnership, I'm impressed with this little guy. It's light and it feels sturdy. It's got a thoughtful hook to hang it up if you'll be using it a lot. Changing out the tools is a simple click in or a straight pull out. I don't like that I have to touch the part I just used to remove the attachment, but that seems par for the course if there's not a release mechanism. I don't think it's strong enough for making an emulsion like a mayonnaise or an aioli, but for super silky scrambled eggs or an egg custard, definitely yes. I think this is the type of tool that once you have it, you'll find yourself reaching for it often. 